Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamsky and this is Manuel for Footstep Sounds with Blueprint Setup Marketplace Asset. So, if you have this asset and you open the example map, you already have a guy that can uh, run on different surfaces with different, uh, different footstep sounds. And if you select it, you have a lot of uh, public variables here that you can change. So, I'm going to show you how to I move all of the sounds and systems to your character. So I have my uh, third person example map right here. I'm gonna open it. And I have my character here. And I have four floors with, without any surface on it. So uh, first thing we need to do <clears throat> is we need to open this third person character. And we need to go to footstep sounds uh, and sounds and sound cues and let's select all of the sound cues go back to our first person character and add those multiple assets as components because we selected they are already here next thing we need to do is we need to open our uh, character that is where is he here character that is here and we need to copy all those variables to our character. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed up the video. And you don't need pound character because it is only for the other character that is walking to showcase the footsteps for your character. You don't need pound character. Uh, variable. We need to make it public. Okay, next let's go to our animation blueprint. The quickest way is to select our uh, mesh in our character and navigate to third person animation blueprint and open it. Now we need to open third person animation blueprint. So we can go to third person character, navigate to mesh and do it the same. So we have both footsteps blueprints. Um, so we have both animation blueprints open. And let's go to our foot, footsteps character and animations tab. And here let's select run. And as you can see, here are animation notifies. And these notifies are exactly at the point where it plays the step. So we need to do it as well in our animation blueprint. So let's go there. Let's go to animations. Let's choose the run. And let's select the point right here. And let's create our animation notify. new notify and let's call it step since we create it if you want to make a another one we don't need to create another one we just add notify that we already have and there is notify on skeleton notifies which is weird because it wasn't like that previously Okay, we already have our uh, sound, our step notifies on our run. We need, we also need to have it on our walk, and on jump start. Let's create jump start um, new notify. It has to have the same name, and this is at the very beginning and. Yeah, and on jump here it should be new notify jump underscore end. Here we go. Right here. Let's save everything. Okay, now uh, all we need to have, all we need to do is go to our footsteps character and copy everything that is above this. Uh, below this so all of this just control C and go to our 
blueprint, animation blueprint and paste it here. And it should work as a charm since we already create our animation notifies. This is important that this notify are these notifies have the same names as in the footsteps character. One more thing we need to change here is we need to cast not the footsteps character, not this guy, but this guy, which is third person character in my case, but that's going to be uh, in your case, your character. So I'm gonna cast to third person character. With control, I am changing all these. Yeah, we can do it that way. We need to get footsteps. Yes, and here we can replace this. Lovely. And also we need to get play because unfortunately we also cannot get footsteps play, rattle play, yes, and this is going to be here, and this is going to be here. Okay, but we need to do one more thing. Yes, we need to set a surface. So we need to create this variable and we need to add elements to it. And these elements are, are our surfaces physic, physics materials. So let's go to the our surfaces and we need to put these materials in uh, our variable. So first this carpet. Actually, these have numbers, so we can just That's all we have. So it should work. Let's check it out. But first, let's go to our footsteps and go to materials and select grass material and put it here. Select sand material, select metal material and select water material. And nothing exactly because our character those variables we created on it here are all set up by default to nothing. So let's go here and let's select footsteps play, rattle play, voice jump play, volume to one, rattle to one, voice to uh, jump, voice to one, and let's leave it a girl. Yep, that's all. So once again, quickly, you need to add footsteps to your character. You don't need to copy anything in your character. All the uh, logic behind it is in character blueprint. You need to copy everything from here, from not character blueprint, from animation blueprint, footsteps, character animation to your animation. Then you need to unfortunately replace the footsteps character with your character and you need to connect all those variables from your character and you need to create surface and add uh, physical materials to it in uh, special order and that's all 
Thank you guys for watching. Sorry you had to wait so long uh, for me making this and I hope this is helpful. Subscribe to my channel, visit me on Discord and see you next time.